Hey, how you doing, guys? I've spoken in the past on several occasions about buying cars from private owners, and I wanted to show you a live example here on how you evaluate the car, you know, the value, what you're willing to spend for it, and how much you're able to sell it for, and the quick process and how that's done. So, this is an actual car person. They sent me the VIN. You know, I have my little ad on Craigslist. You know, I buy cars. And so they say, hey, Gerard, how much do you buy this car for me for? I said, well, you know, give me the VIN number and the mileage, and I'll let you know. So that's what you do. So you log into your Mannheim account, right, on your phone or your laptop. And in the, the very first column, you know, you come down here, buy, and you scroll down to where it says MMR, Mannheim Market Report. Now you want Mannheim to tell you what the car approximate value is worth. I did a you know, search for it. What the approximate value is worth, right? Once you put in the VIN, you know, it will automatically come up the year, basically, and um, the basic equipment package and you tweak that with the ink with the uh, information you have right now before I even put in the miles before I even put in the miles it tells me a basic information let's go look at that oh this is by the way yeah, it, was, it was the basic All right trim level so you had to select the trim level so this is the car now this is the actual car the person has uh, it's blue so let's let's just very quickly go through this. Mannheim is telling me that the average car comes in, 2001 Acura MDX, average car comes in at about 200,000 miles, at about 2.4 condition report, right? And so typically this car will sell at the dealer auction for between 850 and 1550, right? Right? And you can scroll through and see live transactions. You know, on April 30th, 2019. Uh, one vehicle for 193,000 miles off of 850 uh, in the DMV area. Right? See, so and now you scroll down here and well, let's just jump here real quick. Okay, so the value basically will be the same, and Mannheim is saying it's going to be about the same next month. It's not going to really change the projected value, right? Average. So now I'm looking here. 4,200 and uh, maybe, maybe, but I'm looking at. I'm looking at a conservative estimate because Mannheim says this car sells from three to five thousand dollars, three thousand to five thousand dollars approximately, right? Give or take. So I think the sweet spot for me is probably just under this retail, maybe thirty five hundred or so, right? Where I could probably get rid of it, sell it quickly if it's in good condition, decent condition. Now, what does Mannheim say the average condition is? Uh, 2.4, a little bit under average. That's under average, right? So if I can get this car at or about this basic MMR, which other dealers are willing to buy it for, and if I, if I get it from a, a private owner, right, and I offer them, let's say, 1500 for it, which is, that's over the MMR, and I could most likely get 3500 for it. You see? Yeah, so... That's that was a rough number. So now this is how this is this is how people are making money by buying from private owners. And what you do is you take you put this information in. Oh, this would be into the mileage. Two thousand one. Okay, copy it right. right? Yeah, two hundred five is the mileage. Now you you know see it's you get a little twenty dollars, get a little twenty dollars because the average mileage for this car is what two hundred eight for this year. Uh, region, I'm in Atlanta, so this person is in the southeast with me. Okay, it doesn't change much. And, uh, exterior color, put blue. Sometimes it goes up dramatically for popular colors. See, look at that, see? Blue is a popular color, so it, it increases the value a little bit. So the MMR now, see how it's, it's been adjusted here? The basic is 1200 Now, MMR, Mannheim is saying, oh, okay, you know, it's about $1,300 approximately. You know, that's what people are probably going to buy it or want to buy it for. This is a target now. Anyone coming into the auction, this is their target price. That they are, They're smart. They're trying to pay for and walk away with that car. Now, normally, you know, you're not going to get that exact price, but people are trying to get there. So if I was an agent at the dealership, I may offer, I may spend up to $1,500, $2,000 for this car, you know, but, but I'm trying to stay as close to $1,300, $1,400 as possible. Now, the person who's selling it, of course, wants to get as much as possible. But me, instead of going to the auction, I have a person right here in front of me on the phone who says they're willing to sell me their private, their car. 
Man, I'm saying it's, 50, it's worth about fifteen hundred wholesale, and I can I can get at least thirty five hundred for this car, most likely, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But I see eighteen hundred dollars profit in there, two thousand dollars profit in there, right? So I offer the person, I say, hey, I'll give you fifteen hundred bucks. Anaheim says this car is worth thirteen. You can take your time and and and, and fight with people on Craigslist and try to sell it for three thousand or so. I'll take it off your hands for fifteen hundred bucks, and you send them a screenshot of this, and this third party validation worked in your behalf. So now the customer will look at this printout on their phone, the screenshot, and they'll see what you're talking about, and now. This fifteen hundred dollars becomes your negotiating, right? You can go up to me as high as seventeen or or whatever, and you still have some money left up in there that you can make your cash. Some people may even want to start out at a lower. You know, if 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 the MMR is um, say we're saying the MMR is thirteen. Did I say thirteen over here? Okay, thirteen five, right? Thirteen five. Um, did I do that right? Okay, right. So instead of the usual twelve hundred, you know, thirteen, and again, these are fluid numbers. These are fluid numbers, you know. So there's no hard and fast number you're going to sell this car for. There's no hard and fast valuation. These are ranges. So it's based about twelve, thirteen hundred wholesale. All right, is 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 worth about you know uh, thirty five to four thousand basically the retail average you know high 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 end i mean you have to have the car immaculate maybe you get five grand for it you know maybe uh at, at the end of the mile the mileage is low all right get the miles low uh great condition all right you can get the top end level five thousand but let's say your sweet spot is probably three grand to thirty five hundred depending on the mileage right so you know that's what you're you're going to probably make that easily Right, so you offer the person. You give me, you text them back. Hey, I'll give you. You start out. You start out low. You know, this car's worth thirteen. Yeah, you know, I'll offer you fifteen hundred. Or you can even start with thirteen. I'll offer you thirteen. It's worth thirteen. And now you leave yourself some some wiggle room, some wiggle room. They know that they, you know you you talk to them again. If you have people skills, you have no problem. You know this. You know this is where your money's going to be at. All right, so. This is how you do it. Now, once you come up with a deal, say, for instance, you settle on 18. You settle on 18. That's the price. You're going to give the person 1800 bucks, and they're going to give you the title. All right? So you got, you got, you got, uh, you have, your profit is going to be how, how much you can get between 3500 and, let's say, 3900 you gave the person 1800 bucks. What are you going to do now? You're not going to sign a title. You want to take the title, mail it to the dealer. The dealer signs the title and sends back to you. Right? Now, your name is not on the paperwork. The dealer gives you a bill of sale, just as if you were buying a car from the auction. Right? Only you bought it from a private dealer, and you probably got a better deal because you are able to use your people skills, to keep this price down as close to $1,300 as possible. You're able to test drive the car, feel the car out, see anything that's wrong with it. You can bring your mechanic to the person's house. So you can do all those things that you're not going to be able to do at the dealer auction. And you'll get the same price or even less. All right? So that's how you use auction access uh, to buy private vehicles. And this is how you do the valuation. And that's how you make the offer. Draw it fairly. If you want auction access, my numbers on the bottom.